Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Dragon Age Origins, a game we have not touched in yonks. I don't know if we spoke to people at the end of the last episode. So before we look, uh, find the major treasure, companions, over that, loafing, chuckleboard, light. Gain, Ozanos, aid, yep, premium content. Okay, so we have a few tiny things to do. Let's see if we can speak to people who we've spoken to. Our hubby. Yes? Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? <laughs> Aha! I see talking isn't quite what you had in mind. <laughs> Got it. Don't know why. But Alistair should make me all kind of gooey inside. I think we have spoken to people. Uh, so... We are going to... As you say. Decide where we're going and we're going to take... Dog meat. Yes. Alistair. Indeed. And Let's go to Redcliffe Village. We're gonna see the King of Redcliffe. And I so wanna see y'all, but I haven't played too much Skyrim. Possible new series in the future. Oh, Denerim. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? A nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for the now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Ooh, tensions are growing in, uh, Denderham. The Darkspawn has sensed us. Uh, I guess we have a fight for the Expert combat training for the win. 
She's also going to take... Death magic. We're going to, venture, we're going to continue to venture forth to Red Cliff Village. Well, we're hoping to get the support of the King of Redcliffe, or the Earl, or whoever he is. So unimportant. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. <laughs> Let me guess, you're an idiot. I was on your mind. I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? I, that my oh. mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in. The reason he did that was because, well because my father was King Marek, which made Caelan my half-brother, I suppose. You don't think, <laughs> what, you don't think you might have told me that before? So you're not just a bastard, but a <laughs> royal bastard? Doesn't that make you heir to the throne? Make us breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. <laughs> I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. I think I understand. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. Well, you can use... Um, are you sure you're not having anything else? Besides my unholy love of fine cheeses and a minor obsession with my hair, no, that's it. Just the prince thing. So, uh, actually calling you princess, that you're a prince, somehow I find that very thrilling. You're the heir to the throne then, why? <laughs> did I just find the one damn decent thing about my birthright? I think I did. I have no illusions about my status, <laughs> however. It's always been made very clear that I'm a commoner, and now a Grey Warden, and in no way in line for the throne. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Caelan's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard, oh no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. <laughs> Aren't you? Uh, and what does that make the me? The reason I think we have a chance of setting things right. Respectable. Alice has approved. Plus four. It is, uh. He cares. He cares about me. Uh, Codex updated. Redcliffe. King Carlin had even once famously declared the fate of Redcliffe is the fate of Wolfelden. Certainly, the castle was the first and last offence for the sole land route into Felden, and the country has never fallen in any force that did not first capture Redcliffe. The castle, which despite being three times captured, popularly described as unassailable, also guards one of the largest and most prosperous towns in Felden, Redcliffe Village. It's well situated near the mountain pass to Ozamar and the Ozilian border. And so serves as a centre of foreign trade. For these reasons, Redcliffe is accounted for uh, accounted and alluring despite the small the smallness of the domain. The inhabitants of Redcliffe Village are primarily fishermen or merchants who ship dwarven goods through the pass from Ooh or lies to Den Denimin, where the entire village smells of smoked fish on certain late autumn mornings. The merchants in their finery do their utmost to pretend otherwise. Interesting. Interestingly more, 
I think my game has just crashed. No, I'm pressing command. Wait, you can level up more? Oh, you have another one. We'll give you there. Where are we? I'm gonna say we're going this way. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Uh, what do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? There's a civil war going on if you haven't noticed. We heard news about the king and all the fighting. That was before everything started here. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. <laughs> Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So nice many shot, are man. dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Huh. A name seems familiar from an earlier episode. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. No, not all of us died. So, you are a Grey Warden as well? Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. You must have known my father, Terran Corsland. Ah, yes, that's it, exactly. A pleasure to meet you indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. Go into the castle. We what drove them back, but many perished during the assault. I can help you drive them back. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. I want to discuss the situation with you. Of course. You have some of our Eamon's knights here. I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? The, the, their search for the urn of sacred ashes? Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. What are you in the chantry with the, what are you in the chantry with the villagers? Or why are you? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. 
The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. When, uh... Do you need more men in here with you? We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. Uh, what exactly are these things? Uh, yeah, what, I, what exactly I are know. these things? They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead? Spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing, none of them pleasant. So, what, what happens after this battle is Hopefully over? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. Ah, uh, there had better be a reward after this. No, I'm going to be a nice person. Eamon oh. would be in a better position to reward you, oh, to be honest. Oh, sorry. I should get back to work. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. I don't do things for free. Ah, Morgan disapproves. I'm not surprised. Alistair, again, approving of me. Uh, quest updated. Building the siege. Talk, yeah, we got to talk to these two people. Whew. Okay, we have a few codexes to read. Which one are we? Uh, we don't need to read these, really. We can just do that. Uh, nothing else of interest. Uh, we need to speak to some people. Also, I just want to look at my inventory. Uh, dual striking. Item set bonus. Dueling. What is my item? Warden, commander. Oh, yeah, I have command stuff. I also. Yeah, I also got rid of a lot of stuff. Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Are you alright? Why are you crying? Those. Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Have you tried looking for your brother? I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I, I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. You need to be a strong girl. I understand, I do. I'm just so afraid for him. I'm so scared, Father. What are we going to do? Silence, girl. You need quite something, is it? I don't think I have the time to go looking for little boys. No, we don't have the Still no sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. I'm not here to chit chat. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Why does Owen refuse to talk to you? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids. So he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. And nobody else can do these repairs? Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? No. I'll see what I'd I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun. A surpath. Chancery. Taylor's home. Smithery. Ungo's tower. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray. And hope for a miracle. As you say. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. <laughs> open the door. Open this door or break it down. I am. Uh, all right, just don't destroy anything, damn you. Let's 
Somebody's been drinking. So, I open the door. I've got nothing of value for you. The militia's taken whatever I had. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. I'm not here to rob you, I just want to talk. Is that so? Then talk then. Phew, it smells like a brewery in here. <laughs> the militia, um, why have you locked yourself in, uh... Yeah, why My girl, Valena. It's one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. I will rescue your daughter. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. And what about the militia? They need your if help. you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. And what if she's dead? It would be better than going to my grave wondering. I'll do my Not best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise you, I'll find her. I'll accept Fingers that. Crossed. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right then. It seems I have some work to do, relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. I am Very the well. best at my job. Good news, Murdoch. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. We're not only ready, Murdoch. We're going to win. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk, but we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. How is morale? The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let That's me tell you. Idea. Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Is there anything else? I still need to speak to You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. I have a good feeling about tonight. I don't, if I'm going to be honest. Just how smart are Mabari supposed to be, anyway? Do you think they understand it? Everything we say. Oh, is that so? You could just be listening to the tone of my voice. You could be an utter moron, for we know. <laughs> hey, 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 now. <laughs> There's nothing saying that a moron can't be cute and adorable. Who's the cute and adorable puppy? Ignorance is bliss, isn't it? <laughs> That's what the Chantry kept telling me, anyhow. Ignorance is bliss. With ignorance, you don't have to think about stuff. There's one thing I do not understand, Alistair. Just the one thing. About you, perhaps. Why the deception over your parentage? I'd figure you'd be the sort who knows all about deception. I do. And what use the deception might have had ended when King Caelan perished, did it not? Maybe. I guess I was sort of hoping that would go away. The truth does not go away. 
didn't say it was a good plan. <laughs> right, Sir Perth time. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? Oh, I don't care what you call me. My lady would be proper. I am uh, I am a Terran's daughter. Call me Grey Warden, for that's what I am. Call me Alyssa, if you would. Ah, this Very is Very well then, my lady. I am humbly at your service. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, well. With a great warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. I have some questions. Ask me for you. whatever you wish. Uh, tell me about what happened here. You know about as much as I do. I returned a day before the attacks began, having heard strange rumors about the abandoned castle. I was the only knight to survive the first attack. Since then, I found others returning from the Arlesses' quest. Until we get to the source of this evil, though, I do not think it will stop, and I don't believe we will be enough. Uh, tell me about the quest for the sacred arrow. When the Isle fell sick, we were at the loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact set to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Just what is... what was the arse sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. And no one of them, uh, so the knights left the castle. Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these things. The thought chills my blood. Why did the Arcelia believe anyone could find the urn? Bial once employed a scholar, hey. Brother Genetivi. He had proof the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. <laughs> proof. Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. As you wish. Is there we have sufficient help? armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. I see what I can That do. gladdens my heart to hear it. As you wish, my lady. Make her watch over you. Ah. Uh, the words of being called my lady are no sweeter to my ears than I had ever thought. Let us pray. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. I have my own reasons for Which doesn't here. include protecting innocents. Regardless, I am grateful the Maker brought you to us. Eh. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I will 
Uh, Sir Perif needs holy protection for the night. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Uh, what do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. But if they think that it helps them... I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver-cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Like, like Alistair said, it isn't lying if you're it is begun. telling them what they want to believe, because they're going to feel that they have protection and will continue to fight, despite the fact that I think they will go on full knowingly that this is all a lie and that they won't actually be completely protected. Well, it is what it is. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Uh, you you wanted holy protection? Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. I'm glad I could help. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... No, I'm ready now. Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. Weapons and armor come in a variety of missions. Blah blah blah. Ha ha ha. Hee hee hee. Doo doo gaga. -ga. that we fight for the Maker and our arm. Let's use some... Let's use some lightning.
attacking from the lake. They're attacking the barricades. We need help. Nice Come on, yeah, we God. need to hurry. I love the uh, shouting to make it more dramatic. Dawn arrives and we survive Yay. the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. There is still much more to do. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. 
so let it be. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. I feel like this would be a good spot to take a break. So that's what we're gonna do. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you, as always, in the next one. Bye-bye.